is a quick tutorial to teach you how to turn in your artwork to Mrs. Hughes. No matter which grade you are in, the process will be the same for every grade level. The first thing you will need to do is take a clear picture of your artwork. Make sure that you are in an area that has good lighting and you are able to see your entire piece. It would also be a good idea to put your first name and last name as well as your class code on your paper. For those of you that don't remember, your class code is your grade and your teacher's first initial. So if you were in Mrs. Sanford's second grade, it would be 2S. Once you have taken your picture, be sure to save it so you can find it on your iPad, your phone, or on your computer. You will start by clicking on your favorite browser and going to rgsa.com. Like always, you will click into the distance learning compass. Inside the compass, you know what to do. You will find your grade level. Click on your grade level. I am in second grade. Once I click on second grade, I will be going to the block button. Click on block. Art is always on Friday. So I will scroll down to click on art. Now I will choose my grade level. When you scroll, you will see this icon. When you click on this icon that says click here to turn in your project, this will take you to a Microsoft form. It will give you a chance to upload your project. Here is what it looks like. It will ask you to choose an account. You will log in with your Ridgeview account. It should be your first name dot last name at rgsa.com. So if I was George dot Washington at rgsa.com, then I would click next. Here it will ask me for my password. If you have forgotten what your password is, here is a little clue to help you. You will use your email, which is firstname.lastname at rgsa.com. Your password will be capital first letter, lowercase second letter for your last name, followed by your six digit student ID number. This is also the username and password that you will use for iReady. If you are having problems using your school email address, be sure to reach out to your teacher to double check that you have the correct information. Once you have entered your information, this page will pop up. This is called a Microsoft form. It will now let me answer some questions. This form will also read aloud to you and translate into different languages if you click the little book icon with the speaker. The first question is what is today's date? This lets Mrs. Hughes know when you turned your project in. Please make sure that you use the month, date, and year format. Number two asks you what is your first name and last name. So you will type your complete first name and last name. If you have a nickname, this is not the place to write that. You will let Mrs. Hughes know what grade you are in and who your teacher is. You will click upload a picture and find it in your library. There is mine. When you have uploaded, hit submit. And just like that, your project is on its way to Mrs. Hughes.